Red wildfire hair and chip black nails. Broken, oh so broken, green eyes shaded in too many sparkles. Distracting from the fact she's skin and wrists. Three quarter sleeves don't quite cover purple veins. She's slim as a maple leaf. She had a season too early. I met her on Tuesday between trousers and turtlenecks. Our friendship grew between counting dimes and hanging shorts. Between foot shuffling weekends and ghost silent nights. She stole time like it was survival and made a home on aisle 19. Pocketing pinto bean promises like she was eating Mexican forever. Slipping a red winter coat neither of us could afford for her half winter life. When caught, there was no apology, no remedy, no alchemy. I did what I could from then on in, but it was never quite enough. Starvation was her currency, measured in tin lids and cracker boxes I never saw. What is hunger anyways? I can tell you about stomach acid and enzymes and biochemicals and proteins, about nerve impulses, and duodenum and ileum and appendix. I can give you fancy words like masticate and bulbigium. It's not these words I want you to stick in your mind, but rather the face of a girl to whom the world's been a little less kind. That time can't be so difficult for your latte to find, that you who see in 2020 still refuse to see till everyone else is blind. I don't think that 16 then is less hungry than 21 now. For all the social programs and safety nets, this is how it is. The food bank will take her, charity won't help her, adults can't even touch her in this day and age. She's only a 16 year old kid, too young to be helped. Her parents can't feed her, or maybe they won't. She's reluctant to steal even though she knows it's her next meal. If only your heart was wrenched in the same way that mine feels. I can't stand this entitled generation. I hate the one million likes, the YOLO, the do nothing, the people brand on anything for you, and yes, always. People talk that two extra shots, no foam, double cup, upside down, half and a cup, puff and a half of hazelnut, and exactly a tablespoon of 13% cream is exactly what they deserve. That the cure to an empty soul is a full closet, and that a social crisis can be remedied by someone else's cheap green paper and election speeches. It's not your money I want, and not even your pity, but a mind made ready and that's sharper and steady to take notice of the hungry shadows of no food and less love and do a practical thing. I want your passion and your charity for you to realize you're not the most important person here. The strong can feed the poor. Let others take the speeches and PR campaigns as we feed the starving children of the entitled generation. So when you say to me that your coffee needs a little bit more foam, I think of the red-haired girl and her pinto bean.